So I want something clean, but also not too demonstrative, so it ends up looking like, you know, oh, you know, I'm a big tough boy with a race car. All right, so he wanted us to change up the interior without going super crazy with it. And honestly, I think this one's gonna be pretty easy. The factory interior was in really rough shape and the mods we chose to do are simple, practical, but for the most part, it's just really kind of freshening it up. So first thing I did was one, vacuum out the carpets, and then we went ahead and threw in the WeatherTech floor mats. Now, a huge fan of the WeatherTechs. They fit incredibly well. They look really good, and it's just an easy way to make the interior feel refreshed and, you know, almost like new. All right, now that we're starting to get a workable interior, Jackson had mentioned that he didn't like the way that the stock shifter felt. Now, I had asked him if he wanted the shifter to sit high or sit low. He didn't really know. So the Cobb double adjustable short throw shifter was a natural choice. With the ability to adjust the throw and the height of the shift knob, it's going to make it easy for him to kind of play around with it. The side in the future, while I was in there, I noticed the factory shifter surround had basically been broken to pieces. I also noticed that the e-brake boot and the shift boot fell apart as I took them out. So going with a set of auto-styled micro suede uh, e-brake and shift boot, which made a big difference. And then of course, while we were in there, how could I not throw in the red JDM hazard button just for that nice hint of color right there on the center dash. And then moving on up, I gave the dash a quick clean and installed the Broadway rear view mirror. It takes about 12 seconds to install, looks a lot better than stock and should give a better field of view and just better visibility on what's going on around him and behind him while he's driving. And speaking of visibility, I installed some PO wiper blades. Now those have been my go-to wiper blades for the longest time because not only do they look good, but they perform incredibly well and will continue to perform incredibly well for you know, well over a year. And then to add a bit of light to the interior, I went through and replaced every single bulb with the OLM LED kit, because these give off a bright, crisp, pure white color compared to like the dingy, dull, incandescent bulbs uh, from the factory. It's gonna look significantly better, provide much better light output both in the trunk and in the interior, and the blinkers, brake lights, everywhere. It's just a fantastic upgrade. We even got rid of that offensive green light that somebody had installed in the past. Now, the last major thing we did was in the trunk. When this car came in, the trunk was borderline disgusting. It was missing the floor support. Carpets were torn up and there's just kind of trash everywhere. So we cleaned it out. Got a new OEM floor support, some fresh OEM carpet, tidied it up back there. That along with the LED really just kind of helped bring it back to life. And it looks way better. And I did do a lot of other little things to the inside of this car. I replaced the broken sun visor. I fixed the glove box, replaced a lot of little, you know, plastic pieces and clips and stuff like that. But I hope that the mods we did were enough that he notices, but not so much that it's offensive. Now, of course, we're not done with this car. We still have quite a bit of work to do. If you guys are liking this video series, make sure to stop, hit subscribe, because in the next one, we're diving into the engine bay, throwing some mods at it, making it look good, giving him something to be proud of and proud to show off. Looking to finish your build or start a new one? Well, this holiday season, we're giving away a $2,500 Rally Sport Direct gift card towards your dream build. How do you enter? Well, simply follow along with our Hawkeye build series and click the link down below for an official entry. We're gonna be announcing the winner on December 11th of 2020. Now there's no purchase necessary. Anyone can enter, but you do have to be 18 years or older and a US resident to win. Good luck.